Hey, what's up guys? I just finished filming the intro and the outro for another video. So you're probably going to see this in my last video if you watch that. It's a review video for a desk and I 100% recommend the desk because it is such good quality. If you've been looking for a standing desk, definitely check this one out because you can use it as a regular desk and with the press of a button, it becomes a standing desk. So definitely check it out. Check out my video if you want to see all of the details and all that stuff but anyway today's monday i had a great launch i don't know if i want to say launch but like i guess reveal or opening of my website i don't know but i had great feedback i couldn't have asked for anything else i did get a couple orders so i'm so grateful for that it was really freaking exciting to see my phone pop up with the new website because usually when i get a sale it's etsy and it goes you know cha ching or whatever but with my new website it's a completely different sound i knew how it sounded because i did test the whole payment thing and when i heard that i was just like I cannot believe somebody actually ordered, you know? So shout out to you guys. You guys know who you are. Today, I have a list of things to do. I have to send out two packages, which are back there. I made those. The last video that I posted, they were on there. But today, I just have to ship them out. I did package them up this weekend. Besides the packaging and the taking pictures of these two, I didn't do anything all weekend as far as work. Um, I did reply to like comments and stuff like that, but I'm always doing that. I'm looking for my pen. I can't find it. Today, we have got... Today's month. Oh, shit. I'm in the wrong week. Today we have a tie-dye cake topper, a butterfly Starbucks water bottle, which I already have made. That's actually one of the things that sold on my website. So that's great because they ordered on Friday. It's going to ship on Monday. I also have to design a cake topper and a Starbucks cup. There was something else I had to add to this list. Oh, yeah. I got some Etsy orders in as well. So that I didn't write down because I think that just came in yesterday. So I have a skinny, two skinny tumblers to make. I can only make one today because I'm getting more in on Friday. That one is actually a replacement. Like, I fucked this up so bad. It's crazy. I messed up the word 40. Like, how do, who does that? Who does that? I'm so happy that they reached out to me and, like, let me know. Like, hello, this is wrong. On my listing, the title, the options, everything, it's spelled correctly. It's spelled F-O-R-T-Y. But for some reason, on my silhouette... I have it as F-O-U-R-T-Y. When I go back to my design, I guess I didn't even think about it. I just cut it and I put it on the cup because I figured, okay, I've designed this before, so it must be correct. Like, I can't believe I missed that. And it's so embarrassing. <laughs> like, how do you not know how to spell 40? It's crazy. The customer was just so sweet in their message because they be some nasty ass people. I was just so grateful that they pointed it out and that they gave me a chance to send them a replacement because you know sometimes I feel like people are just too quick to run and leave a negative review when it's easily fixable especially if they are a small business because it literally is one person. 99.9% .9 of the time they will do right by their customer. I can't say 100 because you know, the world's not perfect. I have to get my coffee in because I'm so tired. We didn't fall asleep till after 2 a.m. last night, uh, this morning, and I'm just so exhausted. I almost didn't have coffee this morning because I ran out of creamer, but my husband, being the MVP that he is, bought me some before he left. I gotta get started on the things. Um, I do have to run to my other office, my main office, and get some things there. And I'll take you guys with me and I'll show you because this weekend I actually cleaned my office. I'm so excited to go back there. I'm moving back in a couple weeks. I know like some people will be like, oh my gosh, it's so annoying having to move every season. It's fine. It's not that bad really. Here's the office. I cleaned everything. I started organizing. Something that I realized having my office inside and having the space in my bedroom, I don't need a lot of things. So I'm gonna keep that in mind when I move back in here. I feel like I try to cram so much into this space because I feel like I need it, but I really don't. The problem with me is that I have been a crafter for over 10 years and I have accumulated so many things. The honest truth is that if I haven't used it in the past four years, there's no way that I'm gonna use it again. That's one thing that I've realized. I, I don't have to keep everything that I have here. I organized it so that my stuff that inside is gonna fit perfectly. Like my cube storage is gonna go right there. And then my machines are gonna go here, like the printers and stuff. And that's it, I don't need to add anything else. I do have my rolling cart, which should go here. But I kind of like the space. I kind of love the walking space all over here, especially when I'm using my heat press. So I don't know. I'm going to have to figure that one out.
I think I accidentally threw my glue out because I cannot find it anywhere. And that's the only glue that I use for my cake toppers and I need it because it has like the fine tip. Oh my goodness, I hope I didn't throw it out. There you are. It was inside my shipping drawer. I've got the tie-dye cake topper done. I also got this tumbler done, which is the 30 AF. And I am going to ship out the Butterfly Starbucks water bottle. The only thing holding me back from shipping this out is that the packing slip has my wrong email address. So I'm waiting for a call back from Wix. That's a site that I use to host my shop or, you know, my website and everything. I have like a little chat here. And then I just have to put my phone number and they give me a call back. And it's usually within a couple minutes. But I guess since it's Monday, it's taking a little bit longer. But that's fine. One thing I love about uh, their customer service is that they're on point. They go above and beyond so far from everything that i've had to deal with so far so they could not help me out because it is something that they think is a glitch my email address is correct on every single setting uh they went through everything me too i literally went through every single setting that i could find and think of and it's correct but for some reason when it generates the packing slip it gives the incorrect email address and it's not something that you can edit because you can't edit the packing slips for some reason so yeah that's why i called them but i was on hold for about 15 minutes or so and she couldn't find anything so she had to escalate it i kind of just crossed it off for now hopefully they can get that fixed for me quickly also as i was packing up the water bottle i realized that i got the wrong color it's pink they ordered pink butterflies and i'm over here packaging up purple butterflies and i've been freaking waving around the purple butterfly ones things like this are gonna happen that's why you always have to double check i be overlooking like the the easiest things i swear it's like the most minor things i overlook which is why i triple check not double check i triple check but definitely double check if not triple check your stuff because you never know you never know five orders packaged up and ready to go and this is where i say goodbye thank you guys so much for watching today's video thank you guys so much for your support and i'll talk to you guys next time mm -hmm.